In this three-part mini-series on the carburetor, we're going to learn the names of the parts, where they're located, and how to get things cleaned up and working good again. You're going to need carburetor cleaner, and if you have it, compressed air is very helpful. If you're going to be working with multiple carburetors, a power screwdriver is a real time saver. Use a hand impact driver so you don't strip the screws. Available at any auto store for about $10. The main jet is larger and easier to clean than the pilot jet. Below size 38, and you'll probably find it's impossible to get a wire or jet drill in the hole to unplug it. You can buy a jet wire cleaning set or get the same basic thing at a welding supply store. Needle jet and jet needle refer to different parts. Pilot jet and pilot screw also refer to different parts. In the bucket we see a bunch of parts that are commonly removed for cleaning, the floats, the float valve, the jets, the accelerator pump if present, the pilot screw. The air jets are present on some carburetors but not others. All they do is bring air to the main jet and the pilot jet in what's called pre-mixing. If you need to, just pause the video to look these parts over. I put this wire in here to show that these passages are connected, so it's important not to shoot carburetor cleaner in here unless the diaphragm has been removed. Introducing, Introducing the, amazing the amazing ultrasonic, ultrasonic cleaner, cleaner from, from Harbor Freight. Freight. I mixed up a bath of water, simple grain, and white vinegar and put the carburetor in for 45 minutes. It's completely safe for rubber and plastic, but unfortunately was unable to clean the pilot jet passage. First, a couple of before pictures. And now after, parts come out looking like brand new. As always, thanks for watching. Good night and good luck.